Hey, is pooping a problem? Constipation affects many people with multiple sclerosis. In this video, I'm going to teach you two pro tips to help you poop. Stay tuned because I'm starting right now. Learn about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this channel to help my own MS patients learn between clinic visits. And it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. I use easy to understand language to bring you approachable and accurate multiple sclerosis education. So if you're impacted by MS and you want to up your game, make sure to subscribe to the channel right now. Seriously, do me a favor and click that subscribe button. That would be awesome. And also ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. Constipation occurs all too often in people with MS. And this video is going to share with you a couple key techniques to try to combat constipation. Now I have another video I've done which talks about bowel management more in general. And I'll throw a link up above and uh, down in the description below. This video is really talking about constipation and what you can do to try to combat it using two pro techniques. Now, both techniques are helpful by themselves. You can do them independently. But I'm gonna share with you how you combine these two techniques for the best outcome. The first technique is to take advantage of the gastrocolic reflex. Gastro meaning stomach, colon talking about where the poop comes out reflex it's a reflex because in the morning when you put a hot beverage in your belly it sends a message to your colon about 15 to 20 minutes later hey it's time to poop and even if you're not physically feeling it it is trying to happen and so the first technique is to take advantage of the gastrocolic reflex what does that mean it means in the morning when you wake up and you have a warm cup of coffee 15 minutes later, go sit on the john, even if you don't think you have to go, and try to have a bowel movement. That's the first technique, gastrocolic reflex used in the morning. Now, for the second technique, I need you to raise your dominant hand and stick out your pointer finger. This is your rectal finger. You can put your rectal finger away. The second technique is digital rectal stimulation, and this is extremely useful. When you're sitting on the john, you put your finger inside your rectum and move it in a circle. And what it does is it stimulates a gazillion nerves that are in the walls of the rectum. And it sends a message up to your spinal cord saying, hey, time to poop. And so you can stimulate a bowel movement using digital rectal stimulation. Now, you're in the bathroom in the privacy of your own environment. You can wash your hands immediately afterwards. And I don't really think we need to be grossed out about it. You always have your rectal finger with you and it's free to use. I like digital rectal stimulation as a better solution to constipation as compared to uh, using a suppository. And the reason is that a suppository, which tries to accomplish the same goal chemically, can work like say three hours later when you're on the bus. So the second technique is digital rectal stimulation. Remember your rectal finger. Now, to get the most bang for your buck, I recommend combining the two techniques. So it breaks down like this. In the morning, wake up and drink a hot beverage coffee, tea, whatever. 15 minutes later, go sit on the toilet and try to have a bowel movement. If you're not successful, use digital rectal stimulation and try to induce a bowel movement. Now, this is not 100% guaranteed to work, but it can be very, very helpful for a lot of people. And if you're having trouble with constipation, I encourage you to try it. And now for the question of the day. Which one are you more likely to try out? Number one, gastrocolic reflex. Number two, digital rectal stimulation. Or number three, combining the two. Give me your answer in the comments down below. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Until my next video, take care.